There will be a Six Nations Youth Gathering on Saturday, April 18th from 10.30 to 6 at Six Nations Polytech. This is being organized by the Six Nations Youth Council. Registration will start at 10 a.m. and the facilitator will be Earl Lambert. There will be free draws for two mini iPads, two touch iPods and many more. We encourage all the youth to come out and take part in this because as we all say, you know, youth are our future leaders and this is an opportunity for you to come together and express some uh, opinions and, 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 and work together as youth for our community. If you want to register, you can contact Tony Johnson at 519-445-2071. Now with the construction of the Youth and Elders Centre over at the uh, Parks and Recreation Area, there are changes required for you to access the Recreation Office. As of Wednesday, April 8th at 4.30, the existing south entrance door to the Parks and Recreation Office and the parking lot on the south side of the office will be closed. At the start of the regular business day on Thursday, April 9th, a new temporary entrance exit door will be open on the north side of the office. As you stand in the parking lot, looking at the front of the Parks and Recreation Office and the Community Hall, this entrance exit door will be at the single door to the left, closest to the Gaylord Paulus Arena. The Parks and Recreation Conference Room will also be temporarily closed on Thursday, April 9th until further notice. Existing conference room customers who have established weekly or monthly bookings with the Parks and Recreation Department prior to April 2nd will be relocated to the sports den in the Community Hall. This new temporary entrance to the Parks and Recreation Office will be used until the construction of the Youth and Elders Building is deemed complete, which is estimated to be in March 2016. I also want to say that due to increased costs for uh, operating and maintaining our Parks and Recreation facilities, we were forced to increase the rental fees by a small amount. If you want a new listing of the uh, facility rental fees, you can get that at the Parks and Recreation Office. Ontario Disability Support Program. Do you have a disability but are unsure if you may be eligible or have questions about the Ontario Disability Support Program or ODSP? The Ontario Disability Support Program helps people with disabilities who are in financial need to pay for living expenses like food and housing. Staff from the Brantford ODSP office, Jeff and Cindy, will be coming to our community to take applications for those whom have already applied they will also be able to answer questions about applying as well as other information about the program. Starting on Wednesday, April 8th, they will be at Six Nations on a bi-weekly basis every other Wednesday from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. They will be located next to Erland's Restaurant in the Village Plaza on Chiefswood Road in Ashwegan. Please drop in to see them if you have any questions about ODSP or give uh, the staff at Ontario Works a call because they can also provide you with the information. In my past updates, I have uh, decided to give a profile on different departments that are, are operating under the uh, Six Nations Elected Council. For this update, I just want to give you some information on what the Lands and Membership Department does. This department reports live events for each of our members' lives. A live event consists of the following, birth, marriage, de divorce, death, correction of the date of birth, name change, residency, Issuance of Certificate of Status Cards, which are done on Thursday and Friday only between 8.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m., and the issuance of blood quantum letters. Under the LANDS program, they complete land transfers. Their geographical information system can provide information on aerial view, blue numbers, and survey maps. They can also do research on different lots. They also do the registration of mortgages for housing loans and assist with approving land surveys. So if you need help with any of those areas, you can see the staff at Lands and Membership, and Jan Burning is the director there. Now that uh, spring is supposed to be here, I want to extend our deepest gratitude to the roads crew at the Public Works Department, along with all the administrative staff, for seeing us through another harsh winter and keeping the roads clear for us. Their service is very much appreciated, and I know many times they've had to get up early in the morning to make sure that the roads are clear for people to get to work. We are also experiencing a lot of potholes in the roads and the parking lots right now and we ask everyone to drive with caution and uh, the D Director of Public Works has said that as soon as the frost comes out of the ground, his staff will be out there fixing up the roads as best as they can.